so hello everyone welcome to the video so today we are going to discuss about a particular specific role that is certainly in high demand which is of tmf specialist so in this particular video we will understand that what exactly is trial master file specialist role in clinical research and how this particular role acts as a critical component in clinical trial and let us understand what exactly is this job role how the career is made and what would be the salary or compensation as you do your career in this particular role without further ado let's start So first and foremost let us understand what exactly is ATMF. So ATMF stands for Electronic Trial Master File which is a digital innovation in the realm of clinical trial management and this particular digital solution transforms the traditional trial master file into an electronic format. This solves the problem by streamlining the storage, management and retrieval of the essential documents that are very critical for the conduct of clinical trial. This particular ATMF also ensures that there is regulatory compliance and data integrity to the documents and it upholds the standard of good clinical practices. This particular ATMF is designed in certain way that it always is ready for inspections and any kind of modification done in the ATMF leaves an audit trail so that it is fully traceable. So when it comes to sponsor and the CROs this particular ETMF is indispensable and plays a critical role in managing the clinical trial life cycle while for auditors it helps to build a reliance on the compliance with the regulatory and the legal guidelines. So you can understand this particular ETMF is very critical in ensuring there is a good documentation practices going on and this electronic solution also ensures that the regulatory compliance, the data integrity and the GCP is maintained at the same time. So if you are someone who uh, needs to understand the basics of trial master file, so this is a particular video that we have uploaded previously. I shall uh, place link of this particular vi uh, video in the description box. You can go ahead and check this particular video out if you are not familiar with the concept of trial master file. Now let us understand what are the essential documents in clinical trial. So essential documents are uh, documents which are very critical for the conduct of clinical trial. These particular documents play an important role in ma management and verification of the compliance of the clinical trial to the GCP and regulatory. Okay. Now why are these essential documents required so that we can have a comprehensive evidence of the trial planning execution and the results. So all the documentary proof of the trial conduct execution and results constitute the essential documents. Now what are these essential documents? So essential documents may look like the protocols, the amendments, the informed consent form, the regulatory documents, the EC approval, the monitoring records, the audit records, the financial disclosure form, the training forms. So all kinds of document that en encompass the clinical trial would certainly fall into the category of essential documents. Now how should this particular essential document be? So this particular essential document uh, should be complete, legible, accurate, signed and dated so that we can ensure that it complies by the regulatory as well as the GCP standard. So this is regarding the essential documents which essentially constitute the trial master file. Now let us understand why is there a regulatory compliance or regulatory requirement for the trial master file. So as per FDS 21 CFR part 11, it is a crucial regulation by the US FDA and it uh, sets forth the standard for the electronic records and electronic signatures that are deemed trustworthy, reliable and equivalent for paper counterfeits. So whenever you have to conduct or whenever you have to make electronic version of any the kind of clinical trial document, it should comply by the criteria given by 21 CFR part 11 so that it ensures that all the documents that you have generated which are of electronic nature that are trustworthy, reliable and equivalent to the paper counterparts. The next thing is that by following the regulatory compliance, the ATMF system will ensure that it has proper electronic documentation that meets the criteria of integrity and authenticity. So it will meet the ALCOA principles as well as it will ensure that it is a signed and dated document so that it is authentic. Next thing would be that the ETMF system that which is uh, developed should comply by the international regulations and guidelines also such as the ICA GCP, the E6R2 guidelines where uh, 
uh, specific uh, sections are given for the ETMF uh, documents and how the system should be followed and it clearly ensures the effectiveness and applicability of the global clinical trials. So your ETMF must not only satisfy the local regulatory uh, regulation but also the international guidelines such as ICHGCP. And finally, if we have adherence to this particular document, it will essentially guarantee that the system is robust and secure in the first place. And it will also uh, help the other countries or the other trial participating site uh, function on an international level. And it will support the consistency of the document worldwide and help in clinical trial data management and supervision. So this is regarding the regulatory aspect of the ETMF. Now, if you want to make your career in ETMF, so as a ETMF specialist, a TMF reviewer, okay, so this is your job description. So if you see this particular job description, so you would see that the adherence to the ICA GCP, the SOPs are given, but we have distilled the role of TMF specialist into four critical categories. Let us see. So whenever you function as a TMF specialist, the first role that you would do is document management because during the course of the clinical trial a lot of essential documents are generated and this particular document play a very important role in ensuring that the documentation is complete accurate and compliant with the regulatory as well as the gcp guidelines and this particular document will help uh, in reviewing and approving the documents so you would be reviewing the documents you would be approving the documents and perform quality control and quality assurance measures to address any particular query in that particular documents so document management review of the document would be a critical role of etmf specialist the next thing would be the system maintenance so as you know that the etmf the, or the electronic trial master file is an electronic document managed by a software so we have to ensure that the etmf system is up to date it is ready for the audit and inspection whenever it is required and this particular system maintenance will include ensuring the documents are accessible and compliant to the audit trails so whatever documents are uh, inserted changed modified deleted it needs to have an audit trail so that we can ensure the system compliance to 21 CFR part 11. Next thing would be the reporting. So ETMF specials would also be uh, responsible for generation of reports to measure whether the TMF is complete for a particular site, whether the documents are accurate and the timelines are met. So there is a certain timeline to submit clinical trial documents. So that timelines uh, adherence is also your responsibility and the completeness of the documents and accuracy has to be reviewed next thing is the process improvement so although there are guidelines for etmf system development but there is continuously growth in this particular uh, field and you have to ensure that continuously you need to evaluate and improve the etmf process and the system and the workflow so that it can increase efficiency and compliance to the regulatory as well as the gcp okay so essentially whenever you are etmf specialist you would be responsible for document management system maintenance uh, reporting of the ETMF processes and process improvement also. So that is essentially the TMF specials role. Now let us come to uh, one of the favorite questions that a lot of people ask me. So that is regarding the uh, salaries. Okay, so if you are a TMF specialist, uh, your entry level salary on an average would be 4.9 lakhs. So it can range from 2.5 lakhs to 7.8 lakhs. So that is a broader range, but it essentially depends upon your understanding of the essential documents whether you have worked in clinical research previously and do you know the guidelines okay so if you are going for this uh, particular role ensure that you know ICGCP, you know e6r2 you know the attributes of 21 cfr part 11 and the fundamentals of clinical research and the sops so if you have that particular knowledge you would certainly go towards the higher spectrum of this particular salary Now let us understand how the career progresses. So if you get more than five years of experience in this ETMF, you, have, you are good at uh, reviewing the documentation and the process of ETMF, then your salary would definitely uh, range in the higher sections and you would be uh, paid at this particular amount. And this will essentially help uh, for you to grow. Okay. So it essentially depends upon what your performance is and how you can grow. Definitely this particular ETMF specialist role is uh, critical because it will give you the freedom from working from home because it's a software based job and you don't essentially need to visit a particular site.
as well as it will give you that particular independence of uh, working into non physical activities non operational activities okay so this particular role would be very beneficial uh, for you finally uh, thank you for watching this video till the end so please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that we can bring you amazing uh, clinical research roles and job opportunities and fundamental concepts thank you